I'm going to show you how to use the Pioneer CDJ900 as an HID controller for Tractor Pro. So to scroll through my tracks, I'm going to use this dial and turn the browse knob until I find the track that I want to play. I'm going to load Sammy's Revenge by Carlo Leo. You can actually see on the LED display the artist and track title. And I push the button to load and it loaded into deck B. Now I'm going to decide where I want to start the playback from using the Q buttons so I can scroll forward and backwards through my cues. I'm going to start at the beginning of the track. When I hit the play button, it's going to start playback. Now I can control the speed of the track using the tempo knob. And I can actually control the range of the tempo knob and make it plus or minus 6, plus or minus 10, or plus or minus 16. Using this tempo button, I like playing at plus 6. Now the next thing I can do is actually loop this track by using the loop in and out buttons. Now I got a four beat loop going. I can change the length of the loop by using these beat select buttons. I can change it to a two beat loop, a one beat loop, half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note, or I can use this out adjust button if I push the out button. I can change the out point of the loop, make it bigger, smaller, and then I can hit exit to start the playback. Now once I'm playing, I can use the search button and this will beat jump by 32 beats in Tractor, which is 8 bars. This is good for skipping through intros and outros of tracks. Now if I want to stop the track, I hit the play button again, stop. If I hit the eject button, it'll unload the track from the deck. And that's how you use the CDJ900 as an HID controller for Tractor.